I gave you where you had to distribute, we have to start with distribution here too. I always think of this, I picture these arrows in my head, that I'm going to share that too with both of the things inside the parentheses. So I'm going to rewrite this as 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 4 is 8, and then I bring down everything else in the equation because we haven't done anything with it yet. So the first thing we did is distribute. Now we need to combine what? The like terms. Here's the like term with this and with this. And the 12 and the 8 are like terms. The first thing we want to do is if they're together on one side of the equal sign, we want to combine them there first. And I'm seeing these two on this side of the equal sign. So 2x minus 6x gives us negative 4x plus 8 equals 12 plus 8x. The only thing I've done here is took these two terms and put them together. Everything else just got moved to the next line. With me? Okay. What do we want to take care of next? Now we're at the place where we want to find some zeros. We want to get rid of things and get them together with their partner on the other side of the equal sign. Let's go with this 8. I could go with the 12, but it's going to get me a negative. Can I show you what I mean first, and then I'll erase it? I, it doesn't matter if I go with the 8 or the 12. Quite honestly, by the end of the equation, we'd end up with the same answer. I like to avoid negatives when possible. Because that's a positive 12, we would have to subtract it from both sides. This would end up being 0. This would end up being negative 4. And since I see that that's going to be a negative 4, I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to subtract the 8s. I'm not doing anything with that negative 4x, so it just drops down. Positive 8, negative 8 gives me 0 equals 12 minus 8 is 4 plus 8x. I know we've been doing this, but I want to make it really clear. I'm not subtracting 8 from both sides from everything. I'm only subtracting 8 from its like terms. That's why this 8x stays. And now I'm going to have to subtract this 8x. It's with the 4 now. We want to get the x's together. Negative 4, negative 8. Looks like I'm not avoiding negatives here anyway, huh? Negative 4 and negative 8 are negative 12x equals 4. Divide by negative 12. We're ending up with another fraction answer. Negative 12 divided by negative 12 is positive indivisible 1 equals negative 4 over 12, which could be reduced to what? Mm -hmm. Negative one third. Go ahead, have a minute or so to talk at your board with your team about this and see if you want to finish anything up. And then we will get packed up and ready to go.